morning so it's almost nine o'clock on monday uh, i'm just starting my week i'm just going to be doing a little bit of work um to do with my course so a little bit of reading for the lectures um unfortunately a few lectures behind now but that's okay I decided to make the most of the good weather today and I've decided to film my route to lectures. So this is Corpus Christi College and I'm just walking down Trumpington Street here. I have a little bit further to walk down and then I go along the cutest little lane, which everybody refers to as Espresso Lane. It's really sweet and honestly, I love walking down it. Um, and then here is where I turn towards the new museum site, which is where my lectures are. So that I caught up with a friend in a coffee shop and that was honestly so lovely. Um, and I then walked around to the market, which was looking really nice. So I've just come back to my set and I'm having lunch quickly before my supervision. My super is online this time, which is a little annoying. That's in about 15 minutes um, and that's for my mammal anatomy and evolution course which should be really exciting so i'm now just waiting for my supervision um so this week we're looking at marsupials um a few of like the placental groups and monotremes so things like platypuses and echidnas very exciting uh, a lot to get through and hopefully a lot of food for thought will be generated super was nice straight after that i had to go to occupational health so I had to have a follow-up blood test for one of my vaccinations before clinical practice. I just had my blood test for occupational health. Um, I'm feeling relatively okay. They gave me some biscuits, so yeah, pretty decent appointment. I then just walked around the area where occupational health is. So it's right by the river. And then I went back to college. It was so nice though. So I just had to get some videos in. Hey guys. So I skipped yesterday because I did not do anything interesting at all. I had an essay crisis. Um, I went through a bit of reading and most of the things I had on were actually cancelled. So yeah, nothing really very interesting. Um, but today is now, it's Wednesday, it's now 6.20 and I'm already up, um, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but anyway, I have a rowing outing at 7 a.m. Um, I'm feeling really alert though, which is really odd. But yeah, you can take a look outside. It's pitch black. Um, am I looking forward to going? No, it's so cold. <laughs> okay, I'm all dressed up now. Um, I'm wearing a ridiculous number of layers. Um, but you know, you gotta stay warm. I'm gonna grab a bit of breakfast and then I'm going to head off. Uh, but yeah. Very exciting. Here's the cat's bike shed. So I'm just picking up my bike before going on a rowing outing. And here's the riverside. It looks lovely. And you can see a whole ton of swans. And then this is me cycling back. Hey guys, quick update on the outing. So basically, one of the guys fell off his bike and got a concussion. And so we couldn't actually go out on the river. We ended up doing 45 minutes of runs and ergs. Ergs are basically those rowing machines. To be completely honest, I was not planning on taking part in any of that, but with enough peer pressure, I guess I ended up doing all the runs and ergs as well. Um, but it was actually quite wholesome, quite cute. Um, and we were all feeling a lot better afterwards. Um, so I just cycled back and I'm back in college. It's about half eight. so. I reckon I've got enough time to grab a second breakfast because I deserve it after all that exercise and hopefully get a little bit of work done before my 10 a.m. lecture. Um, I find it really useful to go through all the content beforehand, make all the notes, just because it's just useful to have all the basic concepts down and then just add to them during the lecture. So yeah, pretty hectic and exciting morning. <laughs> nice start to the day. So I'm watching a couple of videos um, kind of to give an introduction to the anatomy for the lecture. But I mean, how cool is this? Um, so this is what I'm seeing. And honestly, um, the way he's done it is really cool. Um, and oh my God, all these words. <laughs> but yeah, very exciting. Um, 
I'm excited to graph. After my lecture, we went to the Zoology Museum to consolidate our learning with a demonstration. Those are really cool. So you actually get to have a hands-on experience dealing with the specimens so you can understand their anatomy a bit better. So for example, this is me handling one of the particular specimens that day and seeing how the jaw worked. So after lunch, I had a zoology supervision in the study hub on site. And this is Jellybean the axolotl who lives there. They've also got a bunch of fish. I was really hungry, so I went to buy snacks and I saw the sunset. Hey, I'm just doing a bit of work on my project. So the project is a big piece of work that we do that's kind of equivalent to doing a dissertation. Um, so for the project, I did a bit of wet lab work. So that's like pipetting and looking under microscopes and that sort of thing. And now I'm on to the dry lab section where I'm analysing images and I'm reading through papers and trying to understand the theory of what I'm doing. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm analysing a lot of images like this. I've got a meeting with my supervisor tomorrow, so I'm just getting all the work ready for that. Uh, I've got a lecture to go to as well in a couple of minutes, and hopefully I'll get some time to go to the gym as well. Hi, so I just got back from the outing, and it was absolutely brutal. Like, it was pouring the entire time. Um, and so, like, the bit I was sitting in literally got submerged, and so my butt is completely soaked. Like, on the way back, I was... I was cycling and I completely lost feeling in my fingers. Um, so they've kind of regained some sort of sensation now, but even so, really grim. Um, so I'm really excited to have a hot shower now. But yeah, ah, so cold. Not sure if you guys can see, but it kind of looks like snow. Take a look, see? Pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's kind of sleety just because of all the rain, but you can say it's pretty nice. I went to this super cute tea room with my project partner. So we went there to work on our projects and kind of discuss how our progress was going and share some tips for how to do the image analysis. I enjoyed a really cool watermelon tea. Very groovy. Hey all, so I'm about to run a welfare tea. So that's a weekly event that I run for the medics and vets in college. So the ones from first to third year. I end up buying a lot of snacks, which get reimbursed by college. Um, it's usually quite nice with really good vibes. Um, and there is a really nice selection of snacks. Here's the snack selection for this week. So we have like some fruit, uh, lots of sugary snacks and crisps and milk. And of course, tea and coffee and the like. Same morning, we had Newnham Head, which is a rowing race. And honestly, it's the first one I have done in absolutely ages. I got M3, which is the most wonderful crew. And these are a few shots that I found of myself that were taken from the side of the river. Then this is the crew in action. Um, they did an amazing job and I was so proud of them. Then after that, we had a trip to Spoons. After that, we had a talk and then the med sock dinner. So that's for all the medics in college from first to sixth year. It was really great getting to catch up with all the older medics um, in particular. And the food. So how did yesterday go? So I had the big rowing competition, Newnham Head. That was a lot of fun. So initially it was really stressful because we set off, but the wind was really bad and I had to park the boat. And because it was so windy, most of the calls I made didn't get much of a response. And so I would then second guess what I had done. And then you kind of start panicking more um, and it takes you longer to then decide what to do. And because of the wind, things would then get worse. So it was a little chaotic. Um, and at the same time, I'd have a coach from the bank call something and a coach on the other bank call the opposite thing. And so it was actually really stressful but then um we got to the proper starting place for the race and i guess we all really pulled together and we did really well as a crew um and so that was really nice to see um the whole group coming together and i really felt like i was being supported 
I really did my best with all the calls. Um, and yeah, we did really, really well despite the wind. So I was really proud of the guys. Um, after that, I went to Spoons. So we cycled there and I got lunch and it was just really nice to catch up with a few of the other rowers. Um, after that, I got some work done in the afternoon and then I got ready for our medsop dinner, which was really cool. So we had some talks from some really distinguished speakers and it was really nice getting to talk to them. So one of them was a vet um, and she was like a pathology researcher. Uh, and then the other one was a leading psychiatrist who was involved in research in addiction. So that was really, really cool. Um, and there was also free wine that was being given out. And then after that, we headed to the Catsebo for the dinner. And I actually got to sit next to one of my supervisors from first year, which was really cool. Um, and we had such a nice time just talking about things. And I also was near the other third year medics and had a nice time catching up with them as well. Um, and then after that, we went to the medical resources room. We got to spend a lot of time with the fifth and sixth year medics. Um, and because they were all in clinical school, it's really hard seeing them. So that was really lovely. And yeah, after that, I just kind of collapsed into bed and <laughs> that was the end of that. But it was a really, really nice evening, really well organized. So today has been quite an admin heavy day. It hasn't been as exciting as yesterday or anything. Uh, so what have I done? I've mainly been doing admin so I've been sorting out my preparing for patients appointments. I've also been organizing meetups with my college family um, and uh, meeting with my supervisor for my project. I've also been trying to do a bit of editing and work on the actual project itself, which isn't super fun. It's kind of cool, but you know, it's same old, same old. Um, so that's been most of what I've been doing.